Hey guys, how's it going? It's Invicta TV here, and I'm bringing another match here on Dungeons this weekend. This was, in fact, a uh, a pretty, I want to say a relatively close match. It, was only, it ends up being 5-3, but it's a comeback match, and it's a match where we uh, realized the strategy, uh, realized what was going wrong, or why things were going wrong, and adapted to it. And that's what this is about, It's really mid-round, mid-game, whatever, adapting to uh the the what's going on adapting to the game that you're specifically in right then um and really recognizing strengths and weaknesses of a team so this team um was uh we were doing a carry but our carry was relatively good definitely able to hold our own and then um their team was doing a carry with a a weaker player and we, we recognized this at a certain point in the match and we decide to overthrottle them. Uh, however, they do initially play uh, very well against us. They go down to that bottom spot, that bottom area where the capture point spawns. They hold the special points there, uh, and they really just play this really camp uh, defensive play style that a lot of players are playing on this map because that's where the capture point is, and it's a pretty easily defensible spot. And because they were titans, they could get there quite fast. Um, now, that being said, they are two striker titans, and I believe a Night Stalker? Uh, I can't remember what the Hunter is at the moment. Uh, and we've got a, two Sun Singers and a uh, Striker. Now, we are playing very slow here. We waited for some special, might as well. I'm still sticking to side. I'm not worth pu pulling out something else. Uh, you see that my teammates are on the opposite side, so I don't want to push in too aggressively, because as soon as my teammates um, start to uh, backpedal off a little bit and the enemy teams I know that they're going to skate across and go as fast as they can to push me all together and I'd be alone unfortunately I did get picked there they did have that hand cannon shot that got the three shot off on me and I wasn't able to shoot them fast enough in response um, however my teammates got me up and they uh, I got, I'm gonna be backpedal out of there Dreg's promise kind of a broken gun a uh, normal sidearm might not have gotten me there um, but oh well what can you do now it's a 1v1, ends up getting the tie, that was pretty good. Uh, not much to really say there, uh, simply I try to pull out, that was the best strategy. Uh, the suppression grenades are pretty tough, oh that reminds me actually, one of them's not a striker, one of them's a defender, the ZGC void, uh, I guess he's sticking to that void name. Um, but whatever, it wasn't a round, loss, it was just a not a round win basically, uh, however you want to see it, kind of optimistic way of looking at it. Um, so. We do go all the way across. Uh, we can. We're continuing to do this thing where we don't really. Uh, we're not really pushing directly into that area and meeting them head on. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why. I like I said. I, I prefer pushing right angles. It's just the decisions we were making. We we're kind of autopiling going up top. I think because that's where we we're combating a lot of our players uh, in a couple games. The couple games before, um, you can see Alter Ego over there. She she pushed in a little too. A little too fast. A little too headstrong and got picked because of it. So now we get, we're trying to play very fast in response here. Um, unfortunately that nade, I had to back off from it, uh, the bubble was popped on the revive that was called out ahead of time, we knew it was going to happen, and there's nothing we can do, so we go ahead and get the hell out of the situation, I make that call out to nerf, I say let's get out of here, there's no point in us being here, they're not on the capture point, uh, and they popped it at about 45 seconds, and that's the max length of a bubble using Bastion, I believe, and so, if they want, if they want to get that, uh, um, capture point the bubble's gonna be gone by that point unfortunately nerve jumped down but didn't follow me fast enough he didn't come through fast enough and that was a ridiculous uh ridiculously lucky moment right there for them he happened to deal enough damage with that nade off and i uh unfortunately i was able to get the double kill on the two good players but i was not able to finish up the third simply because the nade damage um even though i almost perfectly took out the first two uh if i got that shot off uh, but before I went behind the wall, that would have been perfect, but unfortunately not. Nothing much could really be done different there. Um, it was just a bad round as soon as Nerf got dropped, for sure. But they used up a bubble, and now I've got a self-res. Uh, the rest of us basically have super by this point, or are pretty close, uh, and they're one super down. I do see that this guy does have striker. Uh, they go ahead and pop a goldie right there, that's what it is, that's right. And so, uh, Alter Ego's a little stuck there, I know she is, I'm gonna push forward in that moment to try to pick the, um... Goldie Gun, it did work out in the end. Unfortunately, though, uh, Alter Ego got 
picked by a nade and hand cannon. I got picked uh, simply off of Dreg's Promise or Sidearms and um, couldn't slide behind the wall in time. I tried to do it as fast as I could. I had to get that golden gun down first though. And Nerve was uh, backpedaling of course as soon as he heard that Goldie call out. Uh, as he should have, it just didn't work out in that moment. If he had known I was able to get that kill on the Goldie, which he couldn't necessarily have known, um, then he it would have been better for him to obviously have stayed. But that's not uh, the best play is honestly almost always to back off. It's the Goldie lasts 10 to 15 seconds. I can't remember. I think it's 10 seconds and then it's gone. So just walk away for 10 seconds. Here I go ahead and decide to push aggressively. This is by the point where I start to say, guys, like we can overthrottle them. We're, we can we can win these if we just push together instead of trying to push around and push angles. We just need to uh, be aggressive on them. And I knew that they only had the one striker there. <clears throat> they popped it on Nerf, that's how Nerf died. Um, so I was able to self-res safely, because not only was the striker not near me, which is why I did it in the first place, I didn't even know he smashed Nerf until the end, but um, I got the one down and I wanted to overthrottle them with all of our, uh, too much pressure all at once, you know? Even if they went to smash me, they would have, uh, Nerf and Alter Ego would have picked the smash, I was what I was thinking. So here, once more, I, by this point, I've said, let's go ahead and push them aggressively. Let's be on top of this. We can win this. We can, we've can. we got the better team shots. We've got the better capability. Um, their carry is not as strong. Our carry can definitely hold their own. Uh, it's time to overthrottle them. It's time to play down in this area and stop letting them get the camp spot. And that was the game changer for us. We started playing much faster. We started playing in a way that they couldn't react. We started to recognize their weakness and what could be our strength. And so, uh, just a simple thing, and just playing so simply here, just pushing up, just being aggressive, just no longer letting them get this defense point. Um, unfortunately, I did not get any uh, kills there, and almost uh, died in fact. But simply, you know, knowing how to push up together now as on, on a team on them, simply playing our angles here. Uh, you see me playing my pulse angle, uh, simply team shotting, and... You know, uh, I like to point out right here, I don't go ahead and push up. There's no reason for me to push up. Let, I'm going to let my teammates get the kill in that moment. Uh, not a very, like, you know, over-the-top good little play or anything like that. It didn't really matter. I don't think I would have had enough time to push up anyway. But in that moment, I knew to wait back and let my health regen just get the team shots over the over the wall as best as I could. Um, but yeah, so now, immediately, look at this. Starting with heavy round, and the next round, and the round after that, like, we've come back to a 3-3 uh, within just a couple of minutes, um, super fast, just rushing it, uh, I'm getting their health down enough just to be able to, I think it's two shots with an SRM and then a punch and I can kill them. Uh, the first guy would have burned out but I went ahead and finished off with, one, with one, just one extra shot anyway. Uh, with this sidearm combo and then punch, I can kill two people with just one clip, which is, you know, a little bit more difficult these days because we only spawn them with one clip's worth, uh, instead of the full you know, a clip and a half or so, which added actually quite a bit of uh, capability. And now here we are, 4-3. We're about to come back, we're about to win. Um, and it was that simple. We just recognized the strength, played the ranges properly, stopped being uh, defensive, stopped trying to play around as much, and just changed into a more aggressive playstyle. Uh, I died on that heavy round when it was 3-0, and now I'm on a 10 kill streak just because uh, I started to make this call out, and I really, and I, I don't want to you know, over talk the leader part of it, but like, I really enforced it, let's push up here guys, let's be on top of this, let's go fast, let's go fast, and you know, hyped everyone up, told everybody they could do it, and uh, it, it was just small little things, like, it just, it sometimes it's just a small play style. Now, we did know that that guy had a bubble, we knew he was going to uh, bubble up on the revive once more, that they were going to get full revive, so Nerve and I go ahead and pull out all the way, there is no reason to fight for that, in fact, Alter Ego would have also pulled out all the way, Except unfortunately she was, um, she was caught because of the suppressor grenade. So she wasn't able to jump and get away over the, over the little, uh, hump that she had to jump over. But, I almost got that guy down. I decided to immediately self-res and, uh, now it's easy collapse, uh, that, that pressure. Especially in this meta without shotguns and snipers to put me down the same. And Nerve and I simply overthrottle them, uh, team shot them perfectly. I've got the damage resistance, etc. It's basically like a really effective um, 3v3 in that situation. Uh, especially while they're scattering and running away, weak already, while it was Nerve at full health and me at f double full health, you know. But yeah, other than that, guys, um, I like 
a shout out to both Nerf and Alter Ego. Like, uh, I don't, I'm not sure I should reveal who Alter Ego is, but uh, they, those two players, they were really playing well as a team despite putting out the low scores. It, uh, the point was to push as a as one unit to recognize our strength versus theirs, or you know, recognize what their weakness would be and to punish them for it. And so that was, in this case, um, as foolish as it may have looked, was to just push them really strong to stop letting them get that defensive position and to uh, really uh, what's what, uh, have confidence in our skill, have confidence in our ability. And so, hold on, let me pause that, there we go. Uh, and that's all it took. That's all it took to change the entire way the game was going out from once more three rounds down to a five round slam like i mean it, it was basically a 5-0 like we we mopped them by that point i got a 10 kill streak by that point you know um and it was just such a simple change so hopefully you guys have learned something hopefully you guys can apply this to your own gameplay you can work as a unit with your team uh really focus on that to really you know, don't count yourself out. Don't, don't, uh, have some confidence sometimes. Confidence goes a long way. You know what they say about athletes all the time and gaming's no different. And I've done this specifically, you know, I'm going to land the shot and, uh, magically you land that sniper shot that you thought you, uh, that you normally wouldn't have on any other given day. If you just believe that you can do it, if you just have confidence, your brain kind of kind of works it differently if you just envision the shot going through and uh i know some people are probably sitting here like yeah that doesn't work for me but uh and, you know it doesn't always work and maybe that's just too much doubt in your brain maybe it is just uh it doesn't work for everybody because that's not how logic works but uh trust me you know watching and just when you play basketball and you're shooting the shooting at the hoop you envision the ball going through the hoop you take your free throw boom ball goes through the hoop um it's it's a it's an athletic skill. It's a it's a, it's a not skill. Like it's a it's a mental game. That's a lot what a lot of uh, sports and especially esports and you know playing online like this is, and out strategizing and having confidence in yourself to pull it off. So without further ado, guys, I hope once more, like I said, that you learned something that you can apply this to your own game with your team. And other than that, guys, this has been Invicta TV, and I'm out. Bye. If you guys are looking to support my work, please head over to patreon.com slash invictedtv. You can subscribe for $5 to participate in a monthly giveaway of $50 or more, as well as earn double the chance on trials of Asias raffles over on my Twitch. Every little bit helps, and I appreciate the support.